And here we go, into the sealed library. So yeah, Cecilia is now finally at her dungeon portion. And here's a puzzle you can screw up. You can't waste all these chests. You have to use one of them to hit that crystal to open the door. If you do mess that up, though, you can use the pocket watch to reset. Also, magic carrots, they heal your MP. Or restore your MP, rather. Goody, it's a book. I'm gonna burn it. Because, hey, I mean, flames burn paper. It's logical. They actually are weak to flame. You'll know if an enemy's weak to a spell because the screen will flash white when you hit them with it. Tons and tons and tons of books in here. You guys want to remember all this, it's pretty important. And suddenly a battle to break things up. That's another blue book. And 28 more EXP until we have till we level up. Let's go ahead and read all these books first. Then we'll actually get to doing the puzzle in this room. Rago Ragla. 
that that's a that's a thing that yeah. I I won't say anything about him, but you'll you'll see later. he does. And we'll be able to access those much later in the game. There's basically regular magic and then there's like high magic. That is Cecilia's first headgear. She definitely needs all the defense she can get. Oh, finally! More than one enemy. Thankfully, enemies' uh, attack power in this dungeon are very, very weak. Oh, right, I haven't gone over Celia's uh, special skill yet. Her skill is Mystic. Basically, it allows you to extend uh, healing items effects to the entire party if you use it. But since she's going solo right now, that's entirely useless at the moment. So basically, the goal of this room is to find three of those blue books and toss them into the flames. I was like, yeah, we still have more bookshelves to read. Yeah, that was the last one we read. Okay, let's start with this one. Those monsters were just waiting until I got done reading that book.
Oh, by the way, this right here... I believe this is a hint for a optional puzzle much, much later. I'm not gonna lie, it's a puzzle, it's not the one that I mentioned earlier, but it's another puzzle that I was never able to, like, figure out without, uh, without reading up on it. But I think it might actually be giving the order uh, that you need to do something in right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and write down these directions. Like, in the order that they're given. I'm not sure if this is, like, how you're actually supposed to figure it out, but we'll see. Northwest, southwest, southeast, northeast. And then, west, south, east, north. Okay. I'm not entirely sure if the order given there is the order that you have to do the thing in. Well, when I get it, when I get to that part, I might just have to honestly look it up. I hate to say that, but yeah. It's because I literally don't know how you're like actually supposed to know how to figure it out. It it, it doesn't make any sense to me. But that might be it. So Cecilia's powers are suddenly psychic abilities now. Perhaps we will find out. <sighs> Knew I was going to get into a battle. Nice. <laughs>
Yeah, you see why I don't even bother physically attacking with Cecilia, though? She got a critical and did 16 damage. It's really better to just use magic. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and use a magic carrot to heal her MP back up. No, I'm not forgetting about the bookshelves down here. Just want to get rid of that book first. Man, I'm spending so much time in this room, but there's just so much to read in here. Okay, that's finally every single bookshelf read in here. And that's... Okay, the last book isn't there. Yeah, I might just physically attack these guys. I kind of want to save my MP for the boss. I don't want to have to keep using magic carrots. Now, disease is a status effect. Oh, okay, well, I didn't get hit by it, thankfully. <sighs> now, now I did. Um, disease is a status effect that prevents you from healing yourself. You need medicine in order to recover from it. And we have two, thankfully. Also, um... Oh, right. Uh, another thing I didn't mention. If you reach 100 force, you enter condition green. And if you hit condition green, then that actually automatically removes any status effects on that character. So that can be a good way to get rid of status effects. Where is that final book at? Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, the books finally used a spell on me. Still quite a bit more damage than their physical attacks. Oh, wow, this thing really wants to kill me now. Well, it failed. How much EXP do we need for level 3? Ah. Quite a bit more. Well, I won't worry about leveling up to 3 before the boss. We can handle the boss at level 2. Yeah, we will be able to do something with that later. Hey, look, it's that book. I don't think it is. That, that looks quite a bit different from that shadow that we saw earlier. Yeah, 
Yeah, you'd think being a book monster he'd be weak to fire, but no. Thankfully, despite how huge and menacing he looks, as you can tell, his attack power is actually pathetic. He does have that, but it's not that much stronger. Honestly, there's really not much to say about this guy. Just keep casting flame on him, heal if you need to, and he'll go down pretty soon. I'm gonna go ahead and use the heal berry. I wanna save my MP purely for attacking. And he's down. Level 3. Ah oh, yes, we read about you in a book earlier. again. Just who or what is that? Well, I'm sure we're gonna find out later. And we have our first rune! a bit of an error with the text there. Anyway, that pretty much does it for Cecilia's prologue. We can talk to everybody in the Abbey again if we want. Say our farewells. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a constant ongoing joke about how much Cecilia eats. Although there, there's actually a reason for that, though.
maybe you'll get to when you get better. Oh, right, we need to go ahead and equip that rune. Increase our magic power a little bit. Also, before I forget, um, the luck status, uh, that, that determines your probability of getting, like, critical hits and stuff, and it also affects a couple other things in battle. Like your chances of counterattacking and stuff. The luck stat actually changes sometimes, like when you rest at an inn or something. Like, it tends to go up or down, like when you gain a level or when you rest at the end. It's kind of unpredictable. Well, boy, Celia's prologue sure went on a little bit longer than I thought it would, because I didn't realize how much time it would take to read all those books down in the library. But I say it's worth it, because that's a lot of lore and stuff that will support the story of the game later on. You'd do good to remember a lot of the stuff we learned down there. And there we go, that is all characters, uh, complete. All prologues complete. So yeah, you, you can choose any character to proceed with from here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go with Cecilia. Because Adelheid is right here.